guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. This is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Tonight, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Sylvester Stallone. He almost got caught in a paternity fraud where he, and now it was very light and it was very short, but he was told that um, he was probably going to be the father of a kid. And turns out that not only was he not the father of a kid, but the woman, Janice Dickinson, who was a model at the time, uh, apparently she had slept with three other men in the same week. One of them was her actual boyfriend. So Sly, Sylvester Stallone, Sly was in on the Sly with another guy's gal. And that means she had three partners and all three didn't wear protection. And all three were with her in a week. S sloppy seconds, thirds. Ugh. 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 But, you know, these are interesting stories because, you know what, I've had weird things happen to me in relationships. You guys have had weird things, but here is a Hollywood star that has had something uh, similar. So let's get started on that first. I'm going to quickly uh, take just a second tell you guys I am I'm backing up all my videos over on locals.com. Uh, so my site is actually betterbachelor, one word, dot locals.com. Link is down below. Um, what's really cool about Locals is that, number one, there's no moderation. There's no one to tell me my video can't do this or can't say that. Comments are unregulated. I mean, as long as you're not like directly threatening somebody because, you know, I, I don't want you guys doing that. Um, but uh, the comments are unregulated. It, but here's the cool thing. Um, uh, here I've got a, a I'm recording. Uh, here's what the site. Let me click it and show you what it looks like as a, as a member. And you'll see here that I'm going to be backing up my videos here, but also you'll notice here that um, so supporters or uh, let's see where it says here, uh, if I can find it. Hello. Uh, uh, active supporters are 20 and members are 111. If you look on the post here, uh, let me turn off the member thing here. If you look at the post here, you'll see right here that if I edit it and I go to publication settings, you'll see it's only for supporters. Okay, I have that off. So that means that if you're a member, if you just come over and follow me on betterbachelor.locals.com, links are below, you can see my videos. That's gonna be for all of you. But if you want to support me with $3 a month, not only can you, um, not only will I have special videos for you guys for being uh, supporters, but I've set it up so you guys can actually post on this page. You'll see here where um, a couple of guys have, have just put a couple of messages on here. One guy linked to a video that's on YouTube. I'm inviting you guys that if you do become supporters, you can post, you can comment, and you can link to your content. So if you're a creator here on YouTube that has Manosphere stuff and you'd like to put it on my page so people can discover you, maybe watch your stuff, this is not just a page for Better Bachelor. This is a page for all of us, okay? So you, you, members can, you members can come on and look and enjoy and watch stuff if you hear, if you don't want to do it on YouTube. But if you're a supporter, you can actually write and so on and so forth. And once I think I hit a certain number of supporters, uh, you can direct message me. And um, I'll open that up and that way you can text me when you have stories or things or things you want to link about, okay? I'm doing this because if YouTube ever says, hey, you're done, at least I have a repository where you guys can still find my work and still find a way to support me. YouTube is going to stay the same. Nothing's changing here. And I want you guys, first and foremost, uh, if you're going to watch here, well, that's good because YouTube gives me ad revenue and I can make my income off of you guys watching ads and, and enjoying my videos here on YouTube. So don't think you have to, to stop watching here. But if you do go over there and you want to watch over there, hey, uh, become a supporter. I put like uh, between 50 and 60 videos out a month. Uh, so that'll actually equal about a nickel a video if you wanted to become a supporter. So let's move on to the story. I'm, I'm only going to mention this once every, you know, twice every video. <laughs> I won't really do that to you guys. Okay, so here we have Sylvester Stallone agony, his agony after discovering daughter with Janice Dickinson wasn't his. Now, I don't know if it was actually agony because uh, he didn't really have to go that long to find out that it wasn't his. But the whole thing is that if they didn't do a paternity test, he might have been on the hook. And again, three people. So you again, you guys that are like, man, my girlfriend cheated on me with some, you know, Chad Alpha guy over here, and I feel so left out. You could be a movie director or a filmmaker, and she stepped out on you. Whole mess. So they say, Sylvester Stallone has enjoyed a, a long career in the film industry, spanning over five decades, but now the actor, 74, 
has endured his fair share of heartbreak as his love life has been as dramatic as any Hollywood film. Perhaps the saddest moment in his dating history was when he discovered the daughter he believed he shared with Janice Dickinson, Savannah, turned out not to be his child. Now, here's the thing. So, um, well, I'll, let me read it and then we'll talk about it because they say what happens. Uh, in 1988, he began, began dating moderful, model Jennifer Flavin, who was 23 years his junior, and the pair even became engaged. But after he met Janice, now 65... Now he's 74, so she was about 10 years younger and he broke it off with a, a younger model to be with her. He called off his five-year romance with Jennifer by sending her a handwritten note via FedEx. Cold, man, cold. And he traded in a, a newer model for an older model. Um, so I guess you might say he really liked her, I, I suppose. Uh, but they say at the, at the time Janice had just given birth. Oh, okay, so at the time... Janice had just given birth to her daughter, Savannah, and claimed Stallone was the father. So I guess he found, not didn't find out while she was pregnant. He found out uh, that he was going to be a dad after the birth. Savannah, now 26, was just given was was even given his surname at birth. Okay. The pair was engaged for six months, but they split up just weeks after Savannah was born in 1994. Okay, so I didn't know they were engaged. So he was in love with her and he got engaged to Janice and they split up just weeks after Savannah was born in 1994 when a DNA test revealed that he wasn't the father. Man, did he dodge a bullet. Not only with, and, and I don't mean that about the child. I, I, I mean that about um, uh, Janice Dickinson doing this to him. Um, obviously, he, he probably would have I mean, he was engaged to the woman that was pregnant and was going to give birth. So I guess he assumed like, hey, you know, I'm ready for a family. We're engaged. We're going to get married. Kids on the way. And then uh, let me see if I can hit the right button here. Not your kid. Uh, so at least he didn't get stuck into the, the paternity trap there. Writing in her 2002 autobiography, No Lifeguard on Duty, Dickinson admitted she had slept with three men in the space of a week. Though Stallone, her then partner, uh, uh, though Stallone, her then partner film producer Michael Birnbaum, or the unnamed artist could have been the father. She believed it was the actor. So, an unnamed dude, we don't know who that was. Her, her then partner Michael Birnbaum. So imagine you're a, a Hollywood film producer and you're dating a model, and you're getting lucky with her, and you're dating her, and everything is good, and then you found out. Yeah, she just nailed Sylvester Stallone. I mean, you know, that's like how many times have you been like, man, I'm the good guy to her. I'm all supportive. I'm a wonderful partner to her. And then she goes and steps out on you with, you know, the the attractive muscular guy, in this case, Sylvester Stallone. I mean, that's that's pretty hard to beat right there. But then again, some other unnamed actor. Now, she says she believed it was Stallone's. Well, of course, if a woman's going to sleep with the provider, the uh you know good looking actor that's also rich that's also uh, i think he does uh, film production and writing and things like that as well um because here's a picture i think uh on the right of of uh ben Birnbaum. so obviously yeah sly's a little bit better looking than him so of course she's gonna say it's the good looking guys and the actors <laughs> she said uh Things hadn't been going well with Michael for some time, and we sp split up later that week when I came clean about Stallone. So she cheats on him, and then she's like, hey, Sly, are we going to hook up? And he's like, hey, yeah, okay, yeah. And so then she goes back to her, her beta provider, and she's like, oh, I'm leaving you because he wants to be with me. But what if Stallone said, no, I don't want to be with you? She said, but Sly didn't call as I'd expect him to expected him to so a week later i discovered i was pregnant i called sly and went over to see him we had supper made love and he'd improved considerably about our brief debut then i told him i was pregnant and he said how do you know it's not michael birnbaum's he asked well i didn't in fact it could have even been the artists but in all honesty deep down i felt the child was sly's of course she did of course she's going to feel deep down i felt it was the rich handsome muscular actors shocking but when she walked down the runway she realized she had go, uh, he had gone and she found him back at their hotel janice wrote she's not mine he said i just heard from the dna lab in long beach savannah's not mine send my regards to mr Burnbaum." and with that he stood up 
and out he went. So uh, this this falls on Sly's shoulders too because he knew she was dating this Birnbaum guy, but he still slept with her. So that's on Sly. That was not a good move on his part. And number two, um, he breaks up with his younger fiance or girlfriend. Uh, I think they said fiance. Uh, to be with Janice and maybe to do the right thing. Like he's saying, well, I'm going to be a dad. We're going to get engaged because that's what they set up here earlier in the article is that he had, um, uh, he met Janice, uh, called off his five-year romance by Jennifer, sending her handwritten uh, note and they were engaged. Yeah, the pair was engaged for six months. Well, that's during the time that she was pregnant. And so he's like, okay, we'll get married. We'll have the kid. We'll be a family. And then come to find out it's not his and he bounces. So at least, you know, at least he, he did the right thing. I mean, as a man, he did the right thing and said, not mine, not going to take responsibility. Good luck to you. But at least she said it might not have been his and he got the DNA test. Uh, so he then uh, he said, we had a good run, Janice. Say nice things about me and I'll say nice things about you. And then he turned and walked out. That's about as good a way as you can as, as you can end things. Hey, you say nice things about me, I'll say nice things about you. Peace. And out he went. Sloan reunited with Jennifer Flavin, now 51, in 1995. They were married in uh, 97 She uh, and share three daughters, Sophia, 24, Sistine, 22, and Scarlett, 18. And I'm guessing, I'm guessing, let me open this image in a new tab and zoom in. I'm guessing that's his daughters and probably this one right here is his wife and she's still model looking for 51 although i don't know if this is a current photo but it, that's a rocky that's a rocky movie in the background so it's within the last couple of years so this is his family and he has three beautiful daughters and a very beautiful wife so things turned out okay for him um of course it is nice when you're a rich uh popular ath muscular superstar because in 95 he was still in quite in very good shape i'm, I'm sure he is now and being able to reach back out to the fiance you broke it up with and say, hey, Jennifer, yeah, you know, remember when I slept with that supermodel and I thought I got her pregnant and I was going to marry her, but the kid didn't turn out to be mine. And so I bounced on her. Yeah, I'll take you back now. And she says, OK, and then has three kids with him. I mean, he ended that as a champ. I'm telling you, uh, I, I think that's pretty interesting. He dodged a bullet, but it was his own fault because he knew she was with another dude and he still was with her. But. You know, it goes to show you, and again, this is just another lovely story. I mean, it's an awful story, but it's a lovely example of so many times we say, but I was good to her and I did the right things with this woman and she still stepped out on me or she still cheated on me or she still, I mean, unprotected with other dudes. And you feel like, man, do I feel like a loser? It's not you. I mean, it happened. It, it happened. It didn't, she didn't step out on Sly, but, but she stepped out on a Hollywood producer she steps out on Sly with some other no-named actor. She tries to pin this on Sly because she just felt it was the best of the three's kid. <laughs> Shocker there. So there you go, guys. Another example that, you know, when things go south on you, you know, don't hold it over your head. Just just brush it off. Understand that maybe you dodged a bad situation and uh, count your blessings because in many cases, that's the way it goes. Guys, if you'd like to support my work, links are below. As always, if you have directly uh, via PayPal and Bitcoin, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And once again, if you want to, uh, if you'd like to join the community over at locals.com, I'm giving you the first month for free. If you just want to check it out, you can join as a member or if you want to join as a supporter, that's all. I, I've got uh, the first month for free so you can check it out. See what it's like. Come on over, post some stuff, read some stuff. Let's get a community over there where we have a, a, a safe place to talk. Guys, I'll leave it there. This is Better Bachelor. I'm Joker. Remember, dodge the bullet. It's not always your fault.